look at the position we should be taking over the trotting poles and we're getting Vic to establish a nice even rhythm. She's riding in a forward seat because it's a poles exercise. So her body's just angulated slightly forward. As she approaches the poles, she goes for a crest release, pushes her knuckles on the mane. Good. And then depending how balanced the horse is, as long as her hands stay steady, she can continue to rise softly or she can stay in two point. So sometimes when the horses are inclined to be not as balanced as they need to be, press on the crest, stay there. Good. So there was a slight tendency for him to want to increase his pace over the poles and Vic stayed with her knuckles pressing on the crest but she continued rising. So you don't have to stay up in the two point as long as you stay in a light seat and your hands are steady. So let's give it another go. So think about your hands being close to the crest already so it's no big movement to push on the mane. Lovely. And two points. See how you go. Yeah, good work. Very good. And one more. And I like how the horse is breathing out there. Showing that he's relaxed in his diaphragm. Good. And one more. Let's go pressing on the crest. Pressing. Staying still. Oh, beautiful. That was a lovely demonstration, wasn't it? And when you resumed rising, he just wanted to quicken a little bit, didn't he? So it just shows clearly how your body position influences the rhythm of the horse. So ride the circle. Good, and two and three, nice riding, good. And then we're going to just prepare for our downward transition. So raise your hands, slow your rise, and walk, very nice pat, and you can have a loose rein. That was good, well done.